Hey, this is Ron Anthony, EOTM Atlanta, EOTM Radio and Media. I'm here live at the Oscars, and man, it's so much going on. They just filmed me for the Mexican Oscars, so on Sunday, make sure that you check that out. You'll see me smiling with the little Teletubbies. It was really fun, and man, Carla, Carla, I appreciate you for just allowing me to be able to be in this. Thank you, EOTM Radio and Media. Love you. This is Ron Anthony. I'm here at the Oscars. Thank you all. Y'all make sure, y'all make sure that you tune in on Sunday to the Oscars. This is Ron Anthony. We're here at live at the Oscars and I'm with the beautiful Mooney. Did Thank I say it right? You said it right. Thank yes. you. Yes, and could you tell us about I know you were we were talking and you were telling me some things about what you do as far as peace and also you're getting ready to speak to President Barack Obama. Yes. Well I'm a celebrity coach and I have a big message for the world. I'm for the world peace. I'm part of uh, Dr. Hong. Uh, who is also for the world peace. I'm representing a very big artist here who has unconditional love for Mr. Obama. He was very ill with open heart surgery, then he had a stroke and he was almost dying and there was nobody at home. He was all by himself. Do you agree that? Yes. There was no one who was taking care of him. So the nurse would come and give him food and leave. So he was all by himself. At that moment of his deathbed, all he thinks about is to make an art piece for Mr. Obama. For me, my vision is Dr. Hong, Oprah Winfrey, Deepak Chopra. These people are for peace. And I think they should all go and present to Mr. Obama because I'm making a statement as a leader from Beverly Hills, California. And you're in Beverly Hills. Yes, I am. Woo. I I have, uh, and also I have a home in Glendora, so I commute between these homes. And you're talking to me. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. EOTM Radio and Media. We have the beautiful Mooney from Beverly Hills here at the Oscars. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure meeting you. You were my destiny to meet today, see? I believe in it and I value everyone that comes in my life. Thank so you. I value you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not show you. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So the Bible says, the Bible says, and it still is new. Oh, yes, it is. Mama may have, mm -hmm. Papa may have, God bless the child that's got it. Yes, that got his, his own. All right, now you thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is Ron with EOTM Atlanta, and I am representing Carla B, and I love you. But I'm here right now with the beautiful, I need to get your name. <laughs> Miss Rhonda Wilson from Ms. Florida. From Florida. You know I'm from Florida now. I'm from West Palm Beach. Well, I'm further south. I'm from Miami, but uh -huh. I live in Gainesville. Okay, yeah. yeah. Florida, West Palm Beach, Miami. We out at the Oscars. Yes, we are. <laughs> all the way across the country. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what, I, I want to ask you, okay, I'm going through a situation mm -hmm. where my son, Aaron Hatcher, was allegedly abused, mm -hmm. and it was by a teacher, oh, and, okay. well, two teachers, it was covered up, Okay. and then he was abused, I didn't find out until about six, seven years, well, it happened in 2006, they covered oh, okay. it up, I didn't find out until he was abused again in 2011, allegedly, um, okay. and I, and I, I, I was talking to you and I saw that you are a teacher. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is for, let me throw this in there. In all of that, I suffered a heart attack and had wow. open heart surgery. Wow. So I came back so that I can help not only just the special needs, but the teachers as well. Right. Because what I'm doing now is I want to protect the students from being abused and the teachers were being accused by placing cameras in the classroom. Okay. What do you think about that as far as me going after this goal that I want? 
Well, I mean, if you're passionate about it and it is involving your child, it's a personal issue, then you have to follow your passion. I, I tell anybody to do that. As a teacher, you know, it's, it can work both ways because people, teachers are falsely accused a lot. Sometimes, not a lot, but sometimes it's not, you know, it's not warranted. And it, it does protect us if there's a camera, just like the police, the whole thing with the policemen and the, and the cameras and the dashboard cams. Right. So it's a kind of the same thing. And we live in a society and at a time now that, you know, that's the kind of where everything's going. We have cameras in our hallways now. So right, it's, right. You know, so we, we kind of keep, so it's getting to where it's probably going to be in, I'm sure there are some schools that have them in the classrooms, but I'm sure it's going to go to that. So I'm not against that as a teacher, because if you're doing what you're supposed to do, it's not, it doesn't matter. How can they find you? I'm Rhonda, and I'm in from Gainesville, Florida, but you can reach me through Facebook, Rhonda Wilson, just, that's my name, I don't have no Rhonda Pretty, Pretty Dimples Wilson, it's just Rhonda Wilson. You can reach me on Facebook, or I have a show called Cinder Stage, and it's also on Facebook, or Rhonda at AfricanNetworkTV.com. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> thank thank, you. You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Carla, thank you. I appreciate you. This is Juan Anthony. Hi, my name is Carol Froelich, and you know what it means? Happy songs. I'm a happy song. Okay. What do you sing? Well, I'm an inspirational speaker and opera singer, and I help people transform their dreams into a reality. And doing that, I also use music as a form of helping people break down their guards so they can really live their purpose, just like I've learned how to do. And where are you from? I am from New Rochelle, New York. Yes. And I'm here at the Oscars. Yes. yes. Woo. You know what? I got a question for you. Yes. In my situation where my son was allegedly abused, special needs, couldn't talk, couldn't walk, mm. and it was done by two teachers. And one of the teachers, well, in Georgia, they give you immunity. Even though it's, it happened, I have to say allegedly because it's a long, drawn-out process. What do you think about a teacher, which I love teachers, let me say this. What I'm representing now, I want cameras in the classroom. And it's to protect the students from being abused and the teachers from being accused. What do you think about that? Well, I agree. I think that there needs to be more awareness. Yes. Um, I don't know about... I, I, I'm on the fence on both sides. Right. That's why I chose that. You know, it's a very yes. touching, yes. you know, um, what is it, our, our constitutional rights. Right. And how close is Big Brother watching. Right. But if there's nothing to hide, then teachers shouldn't worry about right. it. Right. And then also, I was bullied growing up in school. Beautiful you. <laughs> Yes, I guess. Beautiful me. Well, I'm very petite, and people like to make fun of me because I was shorter in stature. And beautiful and well, jealous. Perhaps that was it. Right. And I, you know, um, perhaps it would have been nice to have known what I went through. Yes. So I think it's um, something that should be piloted. Right. Perhaps. Because, again, we don't want teachers to feel that they're being watched. Either. Right, because right. I have close friends of mine who are incredible teachers. And, and I, have a, could, I have a cousin that's a teacher, and so that I could, And that can put a lot of stress on yes. a teacher not to be, and not to, in any negative way, great right. teachers, but still they're feeling, oh gosh, now they're observing me. I've got to do all these other things. So I think it's a very serious uh, yes. topic and it should be in discussion. Yes. Now, where can we find you? Ah, well, you can find me at Carol Froelich, that's C-A-R-O-L-F-R-O-E-H-L-I-C-H dot com. And you're an opera singer? I'm an opera singer and you know, here at the Oscars. Oh, okay. yes. And you know what? You're a singer, I'm a singer. Really? I'm at the Oscars. Oh, 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 yeah. Hey, me again. <laughs> you know what? This is supposed to be the red carpet. We have the white carpet. But <laughs> I don't know why. But I think it was supposed to rain. But it is so exciting out here. Just being in the midst of all of this. EOTM Atlanta. <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you all. And make sure that you share this post, man. I'm here at the Oscars. Come on now. How many... And you know what? I'd like to thank my sponsors, Michelle Washington. Thank you. Also, Cedrice Williams, the book author. Thank you. Y'all make sure y'all check him out too. Michelle, I appreciate you. And I love you. I thank you for everything, from sticking with me and making sure that I make it to the Oscars. There's so much going on here. It's excitement. 
Y'all hear that? Sight, man. This is wrong. I'm here with some beautiful people. I'm mean, here at the Oscars. First, I'd like to get your name. Gabriel. Gabriel. It's the model here, Gabriel. <laughs> Give them that look. Give them the look. <laughs> and what do you do? I am a female producer. Okay, I'm a producer. We got a media outlet. Really? Because I want to do the G Hall. That's what happened in my situation with my son, is why I want to talk to you all. Um, right now I'm in litigation, so after all of that, I do need your call. No problem. Okay. And you, beautiful, what do you do? I am an actress and I work on films with people. Really? We're producing a couple of films, yes. Okay, and what, what are the films that you've been in? Um, I have done Revenge. We did a, a short film, a Western film that went to Cannes in 2013. Really? And just a couple of projects in the mix. I'll give you my card. So you yeah. Them. Okay, and I love the outfit. Thank you. Wow. So what do you think about what I'm doing as far right. as I'm not going just strictly after teachers. I want to make this thing right so it, it protects both because, you know, even though my son couldn't walk or talk and it was like six other kids involved, but he actually died. And this is like, I mean... And, you know, with that, I suffered a heart attack and had open heart surgery. And I'm fighting. I came back to fight to help, not just the special needs, but both sides. What do you right. think about that? This is a good cause. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I think you said that he had kids. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel as a father, what I'm doing? Because I get a lot of people saying, oh, you should just let it go, let it go. But it's not about me. It's about the kids. What do you think about that? It is not that simple to them. You know, uh, when you have kids, you have a life goals, and, uh, and if you have a loss, it needs to mean something for any other, anybody else. Yes. So okay. it could really impact something in the other kids that somebody else can get to go through with it. Right. And you know, I think I'm so glad to be here because this brought me here so that I can meet people like you. And I want to let you know that EOTM, Radio and Media, we appreciate you all and thank you and I thank you for supporting me and as a father. Thank you. I'm here with Braylon, and your name Terrell. And it's Braylon Brooks, yes. Terrell Britton. Britton, all right. Now, I see you st all, see all, all staff. Of course, of course. Yeah. So what do, you, what, what, what do you do? What's going on? Well, I work for a media outlet called Sinister.TV. Well, we both work for a media outlet called Sinister.TV. And basically what we do is we go to a red carpet event in Los Angeles, uh, award shows like this, like covering the Oscars, and we interview celebrities and public figures. Okay. We're not like a traditional media outlet. We don't focus on gossip. We focus more on good gossip. So we're talking about projects and good other endeavors that are of a good cause that public figures are working on. Okay, now I got something for you. I'm here because I also I work with EOTM Radio and Media. They're out of here. And also I had a son named Aaron Hatcher who was he was special needs. And you said good causes now. This is what I've been through. Special needs. He was abused. Six other kids, allegedly, he died. Mm -hmm. And so, with that, I suffered heart attack, open heart surgery, and I'm back here today to tell people, that's why I came here to represent, because I'm representing Aaron Hatcher's They Can't Talk, but we can, and I'm fighting for all the special need kids who can't talk, exactly. but I can. Exactly. And I, and I want to ask you a question about cameras in the classroom. What do you think, with my slogan, I want cameras in the classroom so that it will protect the students from being abused and the teachers from being accused. What do you think about that? I think that's a... I strongly agree with that, honestly. Just because since they are kids with special needs, they can't necessarily talk or speak on if somebody's actually physically abusing them or verbally abusing them. But you can actually see that in the so 365 days out of the year, regardless of what may be going on. Right. And it just helps the credibility for the teachers too as well because at the same at the end of the day, the teacher can be like, no, I did not do that, but then you see all these marks on your kid and then it goes back to the videotape. You have actually been the one who is a child. And, yeah, and like he was saying, being that these extra, uh, these children need an extra additional care, I feel like that it's very uh, preventative against other things that may happen in the classroom that the way they treat them or the way other things go on because the thing is, is when things like that happen, there's always three sides to the story. Yeah. There's, well, two sides of the story. What the teacher said happened, 
what the other people's teachers of figures said happened, and that's it. But usually there's three sides to a story. What they say happened, what you say happened, and what really happened. Right. There can't be a what really happened if the child is not able to talk. So I feel like it would be, be very beneficial for uh, class, classes to have cameras in there so teachers will not be, so kids will not be abused, and teachers will be accused. Or teachers will be accused for anything like you, right. like, which goes right. back to your slogan. Um, I just feel as though it's that, you know, when you have, um, you know, certain, when you have this specific need with people, and, the, you know, and it's traumatizing when this, yes. this, this type of thing happens, I mean, I think preventative measures, you have to take it to the next level right. and do what you have to do. And I think that's actually a good cause. And that's what should be taking place. Yes. Because, you know, we, you know, working with people, we get frustrated. They're human. They, you know, probably don't feed them the right way. Or shove the spoon down the throat. Right. Something right. like that. So I definitely understand that. But, however, I feel like it should be recorded and documented. So I definitely feel like cameras is a good choice. It would be a good thing. Thank you. And I do appreciate it because actually you give me more, you know, you inspire me to keep doing, you know, keep yes. going because sometimes I get frustrated because they won't listen to me and also they're giving this teacher immunity because in Georgia, if you, you mean, really you can do whatever you want and get away with it if you're a government official and that's what I'm changing. Yeah. And I really thank you all. Appreciate no you. Love you and I will thank be you following so you. Where can they follow you at? Oh, you can follow me at Braylon Brooks at B-R-A-Y-L-E-N B-R-O-O-K-S on everything. Insta Twitter, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Alright, Carla, this is EOTM. I'm standing in the gap for you. Love ya. Peace. Thank y'all. Appreciate you. Thank you, Braylon. Keep doing your No problem. Thank you. Okay.